All right, so now we're working with quadratics one more time. Uh, once again, um, uh, we're going to want to find the value k, which is the coefficient of the b term. Okay, so we're going to use the, um, this theorem. Uh, actually, first of all, um, we, we want to say um, if if one root of of this equation is this this is given in the problem. So one root this is that by definition, if this is root one, if this right here is root one, then root two must be the conjugate of that, which is simply three halves minus two i. All right, fair enough. Um, therefore, root one. I'll use block root one plus root two is equal to three halves plus two i plus three halves minus two i which is the same thing as six halves or three. So therefore, we can see that. Therefore, we, we can see that um, x squared minus r one plus r two plus r one r two must equal zero because that's the definition of a quadratic equation. That's the components of what make up a quadratic equation. Minus the b term plus c term, right? So if you look back at this equation right here, um, you want to divide everything by four. So you have the coefficient of x squared as one right here, the co coefficient of x squared is one. So then we will we will have um, change colors. Okay. We'll have x squared minus sorry, this is a sort of this is a little bit too uh too bright. X squared minus parentheses negative k over four x plus twenty five over four must equal zero. Now we know this because we just divided this whole thing just by four and then we used this this uh theorem I suppose right here to get that. Okay. So from that we know that negative k over four must be equal to three. Because over here we just solved that the sum of the two roots must be three and through this through this theorem the sum of the two roots must make up zero and only divide the top only divide the original equation is given by four we indeed get negative k over four equals three so negative k must equal twelve and k must equal negative twelve and that will be the answer